This is Hofstra where me and Kay met. You see that door right there? Yeah. That's the entrance. Well, we technically met beforehand. We yeah, we met to beforehand. Do a, we're going to have to do a whole vlog yeah. on like how we met. But this, this is, is like where everything started. C-squared. This is where all the athletes stay. <laughs> I used to come right here to her door. See, this is this is her. This is C-squared West. And that brown door there, that's where she had a private entrance to her apartment. And I used to go in there. So this door right here was her private entrance to her I used apartment. To live in here, this is my apartment. Yeah. I had a two-bedroom apartment, full kitchen, living room, dining, dining room. room, bathroom, everything. 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 So this is my private entrance. You see, Jax? For two years, when I was in grad school, I was here, and Deval pretty much lived with me. Yep. Lived with me. Well, you lived with me the whole time. The I whole was time. Here. The whole Deval, time. Deval's roommate always had we're a gonna, single. We're gonna take y'all on a tour since we're here <laughs> at Hofstra. So this right here, that's Hofstra USA, that's Dutch Treats. This is the exact spot we like met. the exact we spot. Met. Like, you guys don't understand. Like when I was she going came, to an event that was right in here at Hofstra USA, October 3rd, 2002. I could not wait for the event to be over because I called him up a couple days mm -hmm. before and said I was going to come to Hofstra mm -hmm. and that we should meet up and get something to eat. So my event was like over. I was itching to get out of here. I walked right out of here, and, and Deval pulled was up. pulled up right here, right where in his a, car in a, is in now. In a, a black 1998 <laughs> Maxima. Uh huh. You can see things have gotten a little bit better since little then. A little bit better. A little bit better since then. But Just this smidgen. exact exact spot, I pulled he up. Pulled up, and I she walked got to the, to the passenger car at the side, and uh -huh. I got out and I said, "What's up?" Opened the door for her, he and let her into my life. You know, forever. I let her into my life. Ever. Let and her. Just sweat she was looking at me just like when I me. when I pulled up, she's looking at me with that, that look in her eyes and said, "Please save me." <laughs> save me from please what? Please save me. That's what she said. I wasn't even That's looking for a boyfriend. Said. I was just she coming said, out here just to me. hang out. I wasn't even trying to be all serious. And then this look guy, at that. Oh my USA. God, this is such a nice feeling. I know, right? I have, we haven't been here in years. Years, yo. Jackson. So we about to walk in the student center. This is the first unofficial date I took Kadeen. I had a meal plan. It was $1,600 for the semester, so I was straight yeah. balling. I walked in, I said, yo, yo, ma, yo, ma. Get whatever, whatever you, you want. want. Whatever you like. Yeah, whatever it's you on like. me. So then I just I walked ordered. away. I just walked away like this. <laughs> yeah. See how I'm floating? <laughs> That's how I walked in there on them. The student center, you see this? I remember being a young freshman walking in here. You put your fresh clothes on on a Wednesday during common hour, looking for chicks. <laughs> so everything, all the resident halls was on this side. All the classrooms was on this, this side. side. Yeah. You walk through the unit span. Yeah, you see that? Span. Do you remember that guy that was in a wheelchair and he used to like? He used to fly through fly the unit through span, the yo. He ain't have no too. horn or nothing. No, nope, he had music. Flying, and he used to call music. people who could walk normals. He used to be like, get out of the way, you fucking normals. You normals. I get forgot this, about him. Look at one of these normals. I do remember him flying through the Unispan. And he had speakers. He had speakers in his head. This is not a lie. Speakers in his headsets. And he'd be blasting rap hip hop. Yep. White dude. All the time. Blasting uh, 50 Cent. <laughs> 21 questions. Talking about get out the way, normals. Normals. Get rich or die trying, normals. Let me tell y'all something about college, man. The student center is going to carry you through life. Through those doors is the classroom, right? 90% of what carried me through life, I learned in here. In here, through networking, just meeting people. Jared Greenberg, I met him in here. He works for NBA TV. He got me my first job when I retired from the NFL as a sports analyst at MSG Varsity. Here, not through there. You got to be able to speak to people, meet them in common hour exchange information, get to know people that carry me through life. Most people I know now, it's through Hofstra. Common Good hour. People. Good, Good people. people. Common hour in this area. Not even in the classroom. It was in here. Got to be able to socialize. Got to balance the social. Self social with the books. You can't just be a bookworm, be a nerd and not know people. You're only as good as your network. I'm telling you, man. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Thanks. Uh-oh. Uh oh. We in Kadeen's stomping grounds. And now where I used to spend all of my 
nighttime. The School of Communication. Yeah. Breslin Hall. I'll never forget Breslin Hall because the Val. This is where we had Miss Drucker's class. Do you remember Miss <laughs> Drucker's class? Yeah, I remember, remember Miss Drucker. Oh, Miss Drucker. Oh, Miss Drucker. Yeah, right. So what Deval used to do, okay, because he was so busy trying to be the best student athlete he could be. Of course. He used to send me to classes for him. Sign but I mean, in. no, I should say we took the same classes just exactly. to make it that much easier. Exactly. Do you Teamwork. think we would have like an alternating Teamwork. system here like Deval, you go one week, I go one week. <laughs> I had to be up no. and run at <laughs> six in the morning. All right. So, six a.m. running and I for an hour for and a half. I used to feel bad for him. So I would take these classes, we'd do them together. And then she would sign me in. I would sign him in. Because attendance wasn't mandatory. Exactly. We had to get our own notes, <laughs> so, write our own papers. So I had to sign Deval in. What I would normally do is um, get all the notes. We study together, mm -hmm. group projects and stuff like that. We never mm -hmm. were really in the same groups, but Deval no, had the gift groups. of gab. So he would go up there and BS the whole thing. I bullshit the whole group. The whole entire I wouldn't be group in no project. group projects with no, never show up to nothing, and it'd be my turn, <laughs> and I'd just be up there just He'd gabbing. Just be up there. Yep, gift of gabbing. gabbing. And Miss Drucker like was in love with Deval for whatever reason. I'm gonna tell you why. So, two weeks before the end of, of the marking period, right? I went up to her and I said, you know, Miss Drucker, I really appreciate you. You know, I feel like there's so many things that I could take from your class and just, you know, put them into real life situations. I became a better person mm -hmm. because I took your class. Mm -hmm. what, what class was this? Mass communication or something like that? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, I mean, he does at the end well of the, the semester. Now, I guess. At the end of the semester, right? <laughs> I got four B's and one A in Miss Drucker class. Kay got four A's and, a and B. one B from Miss Drucker. She gave me a B, okay? And I See? was like, it's all about networking. How is Relationships. it? Relationships. <laughs> you ain't make her feel how good. How is it? I didn't make her feel good. She ain't make her feel good. I don't good. think she liked the female. Look, look, look. The females in the, <laughs> at what, all. I think she what just, building is this? That's. Breslin That's Hall. Breslin Hall. We spent so much time. You know where we took? You know what we also yo. took in here? Uh, one summer, Deval and I did a course together. We did Swahili. Swahili. Ujambo. Swahili was a great class. Oh my God, what was our U professor's name? Ujambo. He was awesome. Darn, I, I can't his remember name. his name. But he was in a band in the yes, 60s. Yes, he was. He was in a band in the 60s and yes. they performed at... Um, was it The Who? Was it The Who? What, what, oh God, what, what did they perform at? What was his name uh, again? It begins with a W. 60s. Oh, um, Woodstock. Woodstock. He performed at Woodstock. Yeah, Woodstock. He was our um, professor. Yeah, and we took Swahili here one summer. Who jumbo buana? Who jumbo buana? Who jumbo buana? Who jumbo buana? <laughs> and right yes. over here, School of Communication, WRHU. That was the radio Ooh. station. I was actually on Hofstra Television. Yes, yeah, she That's was. That's where I started my anchor That's career, where she my started. news, my news career. I uh, just mm. for those of you who don't know, I do makeup, yes, but I got my degree in broadcast journalism. My master's degree. My master's degree also in speech communication. And I used to watch her on TV. I'd be like, yo, watch my baby on Hofstra News and Views. So yeah, Hofstra News, and, news views. and Views. That was the name <laughs> of the show, News and Views. So that took place here. I spent lots of time in the communications area. Yo, this girl got I'm me sure. through college. I never had to go see my advisor. She taught me how to read my DAR. Sure she used did. to register me for all my classes. I used to map out. You should have seen it. Yo, when it came time for like, like clockwork. juniors or seniors to, to register, like clockwork. I had everything set up, all the codes for his classes. I know mm. what classes he had to take. It was like 11.55, mm. I had everything set up. 11.59, all the codes were put in. Yep. The minute the clock hit midnight, Boop. enter. All and my he classes. got all his classes. Do, 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 do. Yep. Make sure my schedule. Make sure. Three point one GPA. Yeah. Three point one GPA. Actually. It might have been. I'll take it. Yeah, if you say <laughs> so, I'll take it. Yeah. If you say so, I'll take exactly. it. Exactly. So yeah, we Thank did. We you, did right? it together. Right. Yeah, you owe me. You I, I give you He's a lot. He's still working off his debt. And I give you a lot. He's still working off his debt. How I'm working off my debt? I gave you two <laughs> kids and I got one more coming out. Right. I'm, 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 which I'm, I'm carrying. So. My, even. my debt is we're in even. here. My debt is in here. We're even. We're even. And then you're, this rock on your finger. You were talking about working off debt. <laughs>
Hofstra to the NFL. Woo! Hofstra to the NFL. Who's that? Let's scroll down. Daddy. Let's scroll down. Mommy's Prominent Daddy. professionals. Let me see. Who's that? Daddy. There he goes, Deval Ellis, Detroit Lions, Proud Cleveland man. Browns, Proud along man. with Stephen Bowen. Oh my gosh. It's Marcus. Marcus. Let's see? Colston. Yep, there goes Marcus Colston. Willie Cologne. Willie Cologne. These are guys Marcus. that were playing with Kyle Aronson. Yeah. Ricky, Ricky Bryant. Bryant. I played I all, all of these guys were on the same team. We all played on the same team. Look at that. Lance Schulter's down here. Lance Schulter's won a Super Bowl, too. That's dope. I cried, broke my heart when they didn't have football no more. Football, football changed my life. Football changed my life. Football gave me everything that I have right now. I was able to go to college for free. I was able to play in the NFL, provide for my family, start my businesses. It gave me a work ethic. It taught me discipline. I was a basketball player my whole life, but if it wasn't for football, I wouldn't be the person I am today. Yeah. I scored 25 touchdowns on this field. What? Let them know. You're 25 let touchdowns. Know. Let them know. Over 2,000 receiving yards. Look at that. Over 150 catches. Look at they that. They can't catch me, baby. <laughs> they can't catch me, baby. Put a lot of work in this field, boy. Sure did. And this was the moment that I, I wanted. Like this, I wanted to be able to come back and show my son, like, Daddy put work out on here. Your name will never be forgotten when you do great things. You hear me? Look at me. Look at me. When you do great things, you work hard. No matter when you die, your name will live on forever. Like, they can never take my name off my wall. I did that. They can't take my name off that wall. That's what you got to work for now. And for your kids, you got to build your own legacy. Right? Yes. <laughs> It's so funny because being here, listening to DeVal talk about his football experience and how much work went into it, I just realized that I was really there to witness this like front row seat, have a have a a first hand account and, and be able to witness him doing something so great. Um, I think it was at that point where I started to even just fall in love with him more and more, just knowing how how hard he worked for things that he wanted. And it's kind of transcended through everything in every phase of life. Like not just football, because football came and went, but he's that passionate about family. He's that passionate about acting. He's that passionate about helping other people. And um, I think that's just one of the other million reasons why I love him so much. For lack of sounding mushy, which has already gotten mushy, but you know. It's just um, really nice to get that reminder of where everything started for us. So there you have it, folks. Margie out of hall. I used to come out of practice. She used to be waiting for me right there mm -hmm. in her green RAV4 as soon as I get out of practice. <laughs> With be, food I have ice and on drinks. my knees, ice on my back, and she had everything. The food, the drinks. Yep. She made sure I was good. Yep. Made sure I got my work done. Now she's reaping all the benefits. <laughs> We're reaping all the benefits. So ironic, man. It says building clothes. That's what daddy put the work in, bro. Put the work in, man. That's what you got to do, man. Got to work hard, right? Build your own legacy, right? And you know where it starts? You're racing me to the car. Last one is a loser. <laughs>